What's up guys, it's Rasim from RaspberryTech.com and today we're gonna fire up the Raspberry Pi 3 for the very first time. Now I got this like maybe two or three weeks ago and I haven't got a chance to really uh, test it out yet. I wanted to save this for a video and I'm gonna share with you guys my first impressions when I fire it up. I downloaded Raspbian, the newest version of Raspbian, uh, which is updated for the new Raspberry Pi 3 and I can't wait to test it out. Now with the Raspberry Pi 3, there are a few uh, upgrades. The first upgrade is it's a uh, brand new beefy uh, CPU. It has a 1.2 gigahertz quad core 64 bit processor. It's a ARM processor and it's faster than its predecessor, the Raspberry Pi 2. Now the Raspberry Pi 2 only had a 900 megahertz, 32 bit, not 64 bit processor. It was still was a quad core, but it was I think uh, four times less faster than this uh, processor right here. Now another upgrade that the Raspberry Pi 3 has is its built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Finally built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. We don't need to buy any of those uh, dongles anymore for Wi-Fi. It's built-in and so is uh, Bluetooth 4.1. So we're gonna test that out. When we first fired this up for the first time, I will test out that uh, Wi-Fi functionality. It's pretty cool because you know everything has uh, internet connectivity these days. All, all things are like smart, so why not the Raspberry Pi? Why not have, it, have a built-in Wi-Fi adapter onto the card? Why, why have to buy a, a Wi-Fi dongle? You don't need to anymore. It's all built onto this Raspberry Pi. Without further ado, let's get started. All right guys, so I got my Raspberry Pi 3 here connected. I downloaded the newest version of Raspberry, I think it's called Jesse. Now, if you guys uh, want, want a tutorial on how to uh, download and set up Raspbian on a micro SD card, I'm not going to show you in this video, but I, I did a lot of videos where I show you guys that. And I'm going to link one of those videos in the description. I connected the power, which is a micro SD card, to this uh, USB power bank thing. Once I hit the switch, this, this should turn on. I have the HDMI cable connected to the monitor right here. I have a mouse and keyboard connected to the Raspberry Pi and then we should be good to go. I'm not going to connect the internet because I want to try to uh, connect to my Wi-Fi network and uh, see if it'll work. So when I, once I press the power button, it should start up. All right guys, so it's loading up right now for the first time and it's freaking blazing through the startups. It's loading all those files. It's a way faster than the original OS and Raspberry Pi. So it's loading pretty fast, I'm impressed. And it completely skipped uh, StartX uh, login. So this is the newest version of uh, Raspbian. It's called Jesse, I believe. And uh, it's the uh, March 16, 2016, I think. I'm sorry, March 18, 2016 version. I downloaded it, installed it, and it just it's just fast. I'm impressed. It took less than 20 seconds to uh, completely load the operating system. So. This is the operating system, if you guys are not familiar with uh, Raspbian, it, it's like a, a Linux distro, it is basically a Linux distro, so it's, if you're familiar with Linux, you'll be familiar with uh, Raspbian. So, first thing I want to do is see if it actually has Wi-Fi built in. To do that, I get, I'm guessing we click on this uh, network icon, and bam, it just uh, scanned for uh, access points and routers, and it found a bunch of wireless networks, including mine right here. Mine's is called Rossmore Tech. And I'm not gonna connect to it right now. I just wanna prove to you guys that it has built-in Wi-Fi functionality. And I'm gonna click out of this. And the next thing I wanna do is uh, load uh, Minecraft. Now I've done uh, testing videos for the Raspberry Pi B Plus and the Raspberry Pi 2. In all those videos I've used, uh, I've used Minecraft as like a benchmark. I can tell if it's snappier and if it's, if it's cle cleaner and snappier. So, we're gonna load Minecraft right now. It's in this menu. It's under, I believe, uh, where is it? Games. Here then, Minecraft. And we're going to start. This is uh, Pi Edition, I guess. They call this Minecraft Pi Edition. I'm gonna create new. How do I maximize? Let's see if I can maximize the screen here. All right, screen is maximized. Pretty cool. It's loading the terrain. I love Minecraft. I don't get to play it as much as I want to, but if you guys share the love of Minecraft, like this video and I'll know if you guys like Minecraft. Uh, don't pay attention to those beeping sounds, it's my phone for some reason, I guess I'm getting emails. All right, so let's test it out. Now uh, let's, oh, you start off with a lot in your inventory. Now, it's freaking looking beautiful. It looks amazing. 
way snappier than I would ever have thought it would be. It's clean, the high frame rates. This is the way uh, Minecraft should be played. I'm happy and uh, I'm happy with the Raspberry Pi 3. If you guys uh, never uh, played around with a Raspberry Pi, the Raspberry Pi 3 is the perfect thing to, uh, to get yourself in the Raspberry, Raspberry Pi family. It's only $35 and it, it doesn't break the bank and you will have tons of fun. You can use the Raspberry Pi for like a billion different things and projects. And uh, I, I, I mean, you can just do a Google search on Raspberry Pi projects and you see what people are using the Raspberry Pi for. And it's only $35 if you guys are interested. I'm gonna leave a link in my description so you guys can pick one up for yourself. And that's pretty much it. All right guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys wanna pick one of these up for yourself, I'll leave a link to the Raspberry Pi 3 in the description. It's gonna be an Amazon link. And that's pretty much it. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, just subscribe to my channel. I do plenty of videos based on the Raspberry Pi. That's pretty much it. If you guys like this video, give me a like. If you dislike this video, dislike this video. I'm Rasim from RossmarTech.com and thank you for watching.